Amen. And it's good to feel the anointing one more time. Yeah. Amen. You know, God, God is wonderful. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, he, he said a, a quick, uh, very quick, uh, amen. But you know, God, he, He's doing a work today. Amen. Yes. I was thinking when I drove in, amen, uh, I, I was picturing, amen, uh, uh, the last time the tent was on this side, two years ago was the last time I was here. Amen. And if you can recall, amen, two years ago, amen, I was limping on a cane, barely moving. Huh? Amen. Uh, uh, the, the, that song, amen, that you sang, the last song, Sister Bev, it is for me. Amen. Don't give up. Amen. Brother and sister, amen. Uh, I, I went down to Bismarck over there two years ago and I seen Dalford in there. Amen. Me and him looked pitiful that, that year. Amen. We're barely going. Amen. Uh, I wonder what, amen, the, 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 the amen that the, the, the preacher said down the road. I don't know what he said. Uh, amen. They probably said, oh, them too. Uh, amen. They're ready to fall over the deep end. Uh, amen. But God, uh, amen. God had uh, another idea. Uh, amen. You look at us today. Uh, I look at my brother. Uh, I've seen him over there in Poplar. Uh, amen. You look at me uh, today. I'm drunk. Uh, I run. I try. The devil is a liar. Uh, amen. Uh, brother and sister Jesus said, uh, Amen. That He came uh, that He may give uh, life more abundantly. Uh, yeah. Huh? Amen. I started coming this morning. Uh, I told the brothers uh, last Saturday, uh, I'm going to try and make it. Uh, Hallelujah. Thank you. Jesus. Boy, I know how it is when you buy a room for a preacher and he doesn't show up. Oh, <laughs> Brother Evans said, uh, we're going to get you a room. I could have slept along the way. I even phoned you. And then if he had picked up his phone, I wouldn't be here. I wanted to sleep over there in Dickinson. <laughs> the old body was tired. I told her I was traveling with my, my son Gary Jr. He's probably sitting outside. My wife and Brittany. I told the brothers, uh, if I'm going to go, I'm going to go Thursday night. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to sleep in the best motel down the road. But it didn't work out that way. Amen. Brittany said, I'm going to take you in the morning. Okay, we're going to go about 4 o'clock in the morning, but we didn't leave Karsten until about six, 10 after 6. <laughs> and I, I, I don't know if we're invisible, but we're coming down the road. Uh, uh, us, we travel in kilometers. Our kilometer on that little car that Brittany has was, was going about 150, 140 kilometers, and we passed the highway patrol. <laughs> I, I thought to myself, any time they'll flip around and give me a ticket. Or they, over there in Montana, you pay right on the spot. But he went on, kept on going. Amen. Just before Haver, another one passed us, going 140 kilometers. That must be about 80, 85 miles an hour. Coming out of. Uh, 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 I told Brittany, okay, your, your turn to drive. Have her, there's a big old machinery in front of us. Nobody wanted to pass it. Big, long lineup. I told Brittany, get off that wheel. Let me, let me on there. <laughs> Got off, and I jumped on it, and I took off. Pretty soon, I looked back. I seen a cop car, highway patrol, Montana highway patrol. Oh, I knew I was going to get it. Next thing is, lights came on. But before then, I prayed. I said, Lord, I want to get the cannonball tonight. Get this big machinery out of the way. If you pray tonight, whatever you pray for, God is going to meet it. Amen. Pretty soon, that cop stopped that big old vehicle and moved it out of the way. And we kept on going. <laughs> <laughs> got into a... Uh, Got into Glasgow. Before we got to Glasgow, there was another. I've never seen so many cop cars. Coming out of Glasgow, I looked back. There was two sheriffs behind us with their lights on. Uh oh, we've got it this time. Two cars. Next thing they passed us. Their lights on. They kept on going. I, I was wondering. Well, I wonder what's happening. 
came down the hill there in another vehicle on the, on the side of the road. Some native guys, I don't know what happened. They probably hit the guardrail. They were drunk. They were in handcuffs. Got a little daughter, granddaughter with me, kind of turning and said, those are your relatives. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he kept telling me, I want to go to church and praise the Lord. But anyways, got out of Wolf Point, just on the side of Wolf Point. I see, we seen six cop cars. And we're going probably 90 miles an hour. And they didn't stop us. So we must be invisible. <laughs> God knows what he's doing tonight. I'm just glad I'm here. Amen. I'm just holding. Good to see Brother Danny and Larry and uh, Delford. And oh man, I'm blessed. Amen. Just to see a smile, Brother Louie. Amen. God is wonderful. Amen. Who's next tonight? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Well, bless you, brother.